Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be rebuilding this master cylinder on an International 484. All right guys, let's go ahead and get to it. This thing was leaking real bad on my tractor, uh, this boot and the seals inside of it were leaking. So I was getting a good amount of fluid on the ground every day. So I'm going to show you how to rebuild this uh, brake master cylinder that uh, has two of them on the International 484. I already got this one done, rebuilt. There's really nothing to it. So let's go ahead and get to it here. You just pull these uh, rubber boots off here. You can see this one's all torn up, but there should be another ring like this here and pull it all the way off. And then you can get your other boot to come off here. Pull it all the way off here, okay. Now, the next thing we need to do, there is a snap ring, a C-clip, deal right here just take your needle nose pliers pop that thing out just like that and then we can pull the shaft out just like so now we can get to the piston we just knock it on the ground it should fall out so here's your main seal here that is worn uh, it causes fluid to come past it so if you got a little leak or whatever it's usually where it's coming from and then there's one little seal in the back here so we get the spring assembly apart here if you look in here you'll see a little it's kind of like a little clip that you got to bend up just take your pick and just kind of bend it up just bend it up a little bit and that whole thing will come right off and we'll go ahead and take our main seal off here just get your pick underneath of it so work it right on out like so i recommend uh, taking it off not cutting it that way you can match it up to your new seal next we'll take this rod out of the spring here uh, if you look in the end of it it's just offset so you can just kind of compress the spring and move it over and that whole thing will come apart and then just take your little plastic piece here off there should be a little spring washer underneath of it right here and there's another seal here on the end. I'll just peel that off. All right, we got everything disassembled. So let me go take all this stuff in a parts washer and get it cleaned up, ready for assembly. All right, we got all our parts cleaned up, ready to go back together. So I bought a seal kit offline and it was definitely not the right one. It said it was, that's what it fit, but it did not. I'll show you. I had to go to the dealer here and get the right kit this main seal the one i bought online was way too big i actually had to press it in which was not right as you can tell how much bigger it is so i just uh just keep that in mind when you're rebuilding one of these make sure you have the right seal kit as you can tell as you can tell the old and new one are the same size so we're good to go there so just keep that in mind when you're rebuilding these all right first thing we're going to do is put this main seal back on this kit comes with a little bit of grease lube it up a little bit because we got to slide this seal over top of this piston here and we don't want to tear it so get you a little grease there and always watch how you take those seals apart that's the best way to know how they go back together but you can see this concave it goes just like that just gotta stretch it over the end here <clears throat> just like so and just put get you some grease around that so when we push it back into this cylinder here that we don't tear nothing but next we'll put this little seal on the rod here really only goes one way you'll know what i'm talking about it just fits right on there and then that's where your little spring washer comes in it just sits in this little plastic holder here just like so and put your rod down through it you can see how it's springing like that you know it's working now we just push this back to the spring just like so if you can see that yeah that's all good to go you just want to make sure on this that you bend this little tab down a little bit more because when you pull it out you usually got to bend it a little bit to get it out so just make sure it's pressed down good enough here and just like so now just make sure you got a little bit of grease on all your seals before you throw it back into the cylinder
just like so yeah it should just slide right in and that spring should push that plunger back so if it's doing that you know it's working right now we'll go ahead and put a rubber boot on you got to stretch it through this hole you just push it straight through there but first we'll put a little grease on it just shove it right on up there just like so and then go ahead and fold that first rib up inside out there so we can get our snap ring in easier all right now all we do is put your rod back down here get your new snap ring that came with your kit take your needle nose pliers just like so then you can pull your rubber boot back down And grab your other rubber boot here and slide it right over top that finishes it up so that's all there is to rebuilding one of these master cylinders pretty simple just take your time with it and you'll be good to go like i said there's usually two of them on your tractor so you need two kits when rebuilding these hey guys if this helped you out at all go ahead and hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.